Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am the Sports Judge. The Washington Commanders named rookie Jaden Daniels their starting quarterback for the season opener on the road against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on September 8th. I feel strongly about Jaden Daniels. I like anywhere between 2,000 to 3,000 yards and give me 30 plus touchdowns. That is damn sure enough to be Offensive Rookie of the Year. He's my Rookie of the Year over Caleb Williams. I'm going to lean there. I just, something with Caleb Williams just doesn't sit right with me. There, there was four bad tapes of last year at USC. Look, at, look, I looked at some of the, of the clips and you see that Caleb still needs a lot of work. There's a glaring deficiency that Caleb needs to fix. When you watch him play, you rarely see him in the pocket, never looks comfortable. You're always trying to get him into a rhythm. I think he holds onto the ball too long and it totally messes up his rhythm and timing as a passer. And it was like that at USC. You know, I watched a lot of USC football last season, and, you know, I saw Caleb Williams quite a bit. People forget Caleb, Caleb did a lot of, of this stuff at USC. I saw a guy who at times couldn't see the field. He's a one-read quarterback, and with that, he can't determine the, the defense before the snap. You can look at the tape and be like, oh, yeah, this and that and this and that he needs to work on and fix if he's going to be this franchise quarterback. With Daniels, there's really nothing bad I can say about him. I just think, look, Daniels is going to get the ball out to his playmakers and make plays for Washington. You're going to see a lot of him next season. Get used to saying his name. You're going to hear the name a ton over the next few years. I think um, he definitely can be elite. This guy's this guy got all the intangibles. A lot of times Daniels was slept on because people only talked about Caleb Williams being the next guy uh, to you know be this franchise savior and all that I truly believe this kid is a guy who can be a true franchise quarterback and seems like the, the players have already gravitated to Daniels multiple people around the league brought up uh, Jaden Jaden Daniels and, and what he can be in Washington and looking at him just with the small sample size we have Daniels ability to shred uh, perfect coverage or turn missed reads into explosive runs is undeniably special. This is the thing I like about Jaden Daniels, the competitor that he is. He's a dog. He has that dog mentality, his escapability. I like the poise and command he displayed in the pocket. I think my favorite thing about him is him being this cerebral guy whose willingness to put in the work makes him this NFL-ready quarterback. And, you know, Dan Quinn, the commander's head coach, has spoken nicely about his quarterback. This was a quote from back in May, I want to say, when Quinn talked to reporters. He said, what you don't see on the tape is how much the guy loves football. He has that drive that says... I will not be stopped. Not a single uh, local or national reporter has pointed out a flaw in Daniel's game. And even if we expressed a weakness in Jaden uh, in Jaden's game, doesn't mean he's a bad player. That's why I'm saying watch Jaden Daniels this year, ladies and gentlemen. Daniels has passed every test up. To this point in his career, I like um, what I'm seeing of Jaden out of Jaden Daniels. I like what I'm 
looking at as far as the communication, the delivery of the ball, and he's really on point. And since his arrival, Jaden has been praised by teammates, coaches, his ball placement, his accuracy are too large to ignore. You got marginally, marginally, marginally better at the quarterback position, and now we get to see what he can do. I think it's great for him. I think the thing is, for the most part, the coach is Dan Quinn, which means the defense is going to be pretty good. Jaden Daniels is going to have opportunities to stay in games and win games because his defense will keep him in games. Now, it doesn't scream to me Super Bowl, but it does scream a bright future for the Washington Commanders. Good call, in my opinion, to name him the starting quarterback. I mean, this guy can come in and put the commanders on the map. And he could be a big factor alone, just in the leadership department. And I feel almost as if when the lights are the brightest, that's when Daniels could be at his best and showcase his skill set at the next level. I'm probably going to say he will have his sights set on rookie of the year. I think he can finish out his rookie uh, season strong and secure the award. I love his drive and energy already. I really, really hope he lives up to his billing. That's my expectations for Jaden Daniels. I'm not saying he's going to copy what CJ Stroud did last season. I'm not saying that, but I mean, he can come awfully close. And someone I'm excited to watch this season is Jaden Daniels. I'm backing him to have a big rookie campaign. It's only the beginning for him. This kid is going to be special. Watch what I say. This kid is going to be truly special. He was automatic in college, and he's going to be automatic in the NFL. It's wild to think how good Daniels already looks and and that he could quickly emerge into a top tier quarterback in this league. I know he's going to make a lot of people happy in Washington. I'm high on him and he is to me a little more polished than what people say he is. And you can see why the why the pundits and draft experts are are high on him. And even me in the draft process, he grew on me. Over time, I understood why people became fans of him. I even had him going number one overall um, over Caleb Williams. I just felt like he was more NFL ready than Caleb. And you got to see a little bit of that in the first game. So I'm excited to see what he can do in that offense. And I never thought for a second that it was going to take some time before we saw that polish before he saw the understanding of an NFL offense. He took right to it, and you could see the level of maturity, the pocket movement, the accuracy, the ball placement, the willingness to throw over the middle. You could see he's smart enough to understand the NFL game and will adjust moving forward. Now, there will be an adjustment period. There is going to be growing pains on his way to greatness that's all part of it right that that that's the nature of the game i'm not worried about Jaden daniels transition to the nfl i'm not worried one bit he's already adjust to the nfl experience and speed after everything you've seen so far you got to be confident in his abilities i'm confident he will have have complete command of the offense and already he does show more promise than most initially believed the expectations will be very high for Daniels coming into Washington there is no doubt about that just take some deep breaths and trust this kid this kid's gonna be amazing at the NFL level thanks for watching everyone really appreciate the love and support uh, thanks for tuning in to the channel thanks for checking out the content 
really really appreciate the love and support without you guys none of this is possible so i thank you guys so much and if you guys haven't already smashed the, smash the subscribe button please do me a huge favor and smash the subscribe button so you guys can keep in touch with the sports judge talk to you guys very soon you guys enjoy the rest of your day peace